Hi, this is JP from Not A Lots Over Arkham. Welcome to another Arkham Horror LCG campaign playthrough. And this time we are playing something different. I am playing a fan-made campaign uh, that is called uh, Dark Matter. And uh, this is an eight-part campaign. And uh, I have it been... Uh, professionally printed out on uh, card stock, so they are basically like real cards. Uh, you can play this uh, campaign over on Tabletop Simulator if you have the mod. Uh, the mod should have all of the fan-made scenarios in it. Or you can uh, uh, PM me if you want to know how I got this printed out. But not going to talk about that that much. Uh, let's hop over to my deck that I'm playing and after that we'll read the story because I think most of you haven't played this or don't know what's going on so I will be reading the story text and there's not that much so I think that's okay. So uh, let's hop over to arkhamcdb.com Okay and this is my Diana Stanley in Dark Matter deck as usual with Diana. There is a lot of uh, cancellation going on. We have uh, deny existences, we have dodges, drawn, well, drawn to the flame is uh, uh, clue tech, uh, emergency cash, just to have a good economy at the start of the campaign. Read the signs more investigation power, get multiple clues. Part of protection is a cancel. Then we have Defiance, which is really good, cancellation. And why do we want to cancel stuff? Well, uh, Diana's main stick is to get cards underneath her by cancelling uh, effects or throughout the game. So <clears throat> we can get plus one for each card underneath us to our willpower. So that will fuel our... Um, spell tech and of course I'm playing uh, true solo so I built this deck to be able to fight without that much of uh, problems or need for the willpower but I have um, dragon poles here so this will be good when I get some spells down and can fight with the dragon ball I might upgrade out of it later uh, one match Chat it just in case I need a weapon early and I don't have the Dragon Ball, so I have more weapon bi weapon pools in the deck. Azure Flames, uh, just when I get my um, willpower going, I can fight with these two. Then I have six cents, and this is my go to investigation spell for true solo. Uh, then uh, Talisman of Protection, this is another cancel tech, so. You could discard and cancel, but you can put the, this underneath Diana. And well, uh, Tetsuo Mori. Uh, because I'm playing Taboo, I'm not. I don't have access to Renfield, so I decided to take Tetsuo and maybe upgrade to another ally later. But this is my deck. I hit a <laughs> well a thematic weakness for this because this is um, like. Um, Sibling campaign for um, Bad to Carcosa, so same theme, so King in Yellow, etc. So unspeakable old cowardice, so this, this is quite annoying for Diana actually. I'm not that good at evading stuff, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, this is the deck and we'll hop over back to the scenario. Okay, and we have set up the first scenario the tattered dead alien but first we'll read the prologue because what is happening <laughs> we are in space but how did we get there so uh, prologue you turn over the folded program in your hand reading it for what seems like the hundredth time miskatonic playhouse presents the king in yellow it reads a special one night engagement at arkham's very own war theater an Irresistible drama in two acts, production staged and directed by Nigel Engra. Cast is a small ensemble with one uh, unattrib 
on a tribute credit at the end, the stranger. To have a such highly anticipated play come to Arkham all the way from Paris is a noteworthy event, even if it is just for one night. For weeks le leading up to the show, it was the talk of the town. It seemed so unassuming, and yet you have evidence something sinister is at work. It started with the disappearance of one of the stagehands at the theater, a boy of only 17 who missed rehearsal one night and was never seen again. Then, less than two weeks before the performance, there was a musical musician whose corpse was found with a gun in its mouth. Uh, perhaps most chilling was the crazed man the coppers had picked up in Independence Square, who had been ranting and raving about the king's return. He was brought to Arkham Asylum, and you were surprised to discover that he was not alone in his delusions. Finding this event suspicious, you and your companions have delved deeper into the matter. Although no connection ha can be proven, these weren't the only strange events surrounding the up-and-coming play. Instances of suicide and madness have followed in its wake, and you are determined to discover why. The lights in the auditorium dim, and a spotlight shines on the stage. What unfolds is not quite what you expect. Slow-paced and monotonous, the first act of King in Yellow is a tedious bore. The setting and characters are compelling, but the me meandering and nonsensical story does little to entertain or inform. You begin to wonder whether the dreadful events surrounding the King in Yellow aren't connected after all. Perhaps it was just your overactive imagination. How could such a trivial and unassuming show cause such pandemonium? You are surprised when the first act closes without any rising action or revelation. The lights rise for the intermission and you consider leaving early, stiffing a yawn. Before you are able to decide, however, you find yourself drifting, drifting to sleep. And then we get into the first scenario, the Tatterdemalion. So, if you noticed, the uh, in prologue was the King in Yellow or the Gather or the curtain calls prologue text or the starting text. So, scenario one, the tattered Amalian. You awaken, entombed in ice. Your skin, your organs, even your bones are cold. You can't move and it's hard to form coherent thoughts. A tingle of warmth slowly spreads through your veins. When your eyelids finally thaw, all you see is a large pane of frosted glass. What's going on? Where are you? One moment, you were in the war theater watching the tedious theater performance, and the next, you you in a cryo sleep chamber. Cryo sleep? Despite having never heard the word before, you instinctively know what this produce procedure must be. Your mind may not recollect, but your body has been uh, through this cycle of freezing and thawing many times. The thought of being familiar with something so foreign to you disturbs you to the core. When the warmth eventually reaches your fingers, the glass window slides open and releases you into a dark metallic room. The control panel next to your tomb delivers its com com computerized announcement. Welcome aboard the Tattered Amalian. The current star date is April 4, 2147. You look out of the nearest window, only to witness black canvas of infinite stars and colossal circular sphere, the planet Neptune. The thought of drifting through the infinite expanse of space does not frighten you, for you have lived your entire life in space, not in your past life in Arkham, but in the per uh, person you embody now. As you begin wondering how much uh, stranger di this dream of yours can be become, a loud Blaring alarm echoes through the vacant ship. Okay, well, that was some um, background on what's going on. So we are at space. So uh, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start. Some uh, things to consider. We have a scan mechanic in this campaign. So whenever we scan something, we have this scanning deck which has these symbols uh, and like locations underneath it and these correspond to the location we are at. So if we scan and have to find this uh, triangle, we um, discard cards until we hit um, 
card which has the location, then we flip it over and resolve it. That's how scanning works and uh, scanning can be triggered on locations or on um, act or agenda cards. So let's read the act and agenda for Saturday Malian. So emergency procedure. As you try to make sense of the situation, an alarm blares through the chamber and interrupts your thoughts. Alert. Engine stability at 7% system power critical. Requires immediate attention. You cannot resign. Beware, if this agenda advances, the ship will explode and everyone will die, and we have a 7 doom threshold. Uh, event horizon. Your body aches and cramps from the extended cryosleep. How long have you been trapped in your frozen tube? Where is the rest of the crew? These questions will be need to wait, for you must first find a way to get this ship back online before the reactor engines overheat. Objective in the Investigators in the engine room may spend the required number of clues as proof to repair the power malfunction and advance. So we need to get to the engine room. We are in the cryosleep chamber. There is one clue here and uh, a shroud of two. And there is a resign here. Return to your cryo chamber and you hope to wake up from this nightmare. But we can't resign because of that. So we'll start by drawing our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, uh, Drawn to the Flame, Dragon Pole, V, Mulligan, that, Dodge, um, Promise of Power. Okay, Azure Flame. I think we don't need the Azure Flame yet. We have the Dragon Pole to fight. We keep the rest. So we ditch that and we get the Holy Rosary. So I think that's a decent start. We shuffle our mulligan cards back into the deck, so just a moment. Then we'll start getting some clues and going towards the engine room. So, um, I won't read uh, the <laughs> location flavor text, but if you print this out or play this on Tabletop Simulator, I recommend reading those because those add into the atmosphere of the game, but they, it would take too much time. I'll just read what uh, effects are on the locations. So, first action this round is to play the Dragon Ball. Second action will be to play Holy Rosary. And last action. We will investigate, and uh, I probably won't commit anything to this test, so... Um, because my usual Chaos tokens are used in another campaign at this moment, I'm using my old um, coin capsule tokens, but if you're wondering why the rattle is a bit different than usual. So, investigating uh, 3 versus 1. Minus two, we fail, so we need to try ne again next round. So no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw, read the signs, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom. One of seven encounter card is anarchism. So revelation test will about three. For each point you fail by, uh, either discard a non-story asset to control or take one power. So we don't want to fail this, so I'm using the promise of power to pass this, so we are um, 6 versus 3. It is a 0, so we pass, so we don't have to discard or take horror or anything. Okay, uh, first action, I'll take a risk, well, I'll just try to investigate. Uh, we are investigating 3 versus 2, another 0. So now we grab this clue, we'll move to the West Hall. So, one shroud, two clues. When you gain any amount of resources during your turn at the Mess Hall, gain one additional resource. So, there are two clues here. I think we will grab these two, but I'll, as a last action, take two resources. So I gain one, and I gain another. 
And that is my turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Unfortunately, it's a weakness, and we gain a resource. And this is uh, during the upkeep, so not during my turn, so we don't get an additional. And it's a uh, limit once per round. So, unspeakable old cowardice. Campaign mode only, peril hidden. Revelation, secretly add these cards into your hand. Post when the game ends, or you are eliminated, if this card is in your hand, you earn two fewer experience. Action evade, use only on an exhausted engage. Unengaged enemy at your location. If you succeed, discard this card from your hand. So we need to evade something and evade it again. So hoping to find an easy evadable enemy to get rid of that. But uh, we'll see how that goes. So uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another room. And counter card for this round is Cabin Pressure Peril Hidden. Secretly add this card into your hand, Post at the end of your turn, if there are one or more wounds on your location, take two damage and discard cabin pressure. Okay, well, first thing first, we will uh, play, uh, read the signs here. And uh, uh, we are investigating uh, four versus one, uh, five versus one. Minus two, we succeed, and this ignores any bad e effect on a, um, on the location. So this goes underneath Diana, and I will be keeping these cards underneath Diana here, visible. So um, so you can see what's underneath, and I can uh, keep track of how much willpower boost I have. So we grab these two clues. Then we'll move to the cargo hold. Uh, two shroud, one clue, forced. After you enter cargo hold, test uh, willpower two. If you fail, take one hold. Okay. So we are testing uh, three versus three. Uh, three versus two, I mean. Uh, minus one, so we pass, so we don't take any horror. And last action is to investigate over here. And we are not spending anything, so we are investigating uh, two versus uh, three versus two. Minus four, so we fail. Uh, that means we have to take two damage and discard cabin pressure. So we take two damage. Ouch. Okay, well, nothing else happens, so we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card. Daring, and we gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, we add a doom. Three of seven, and counter card for this round is... High radiation levels. Revelation tests. Uh, agility or uh, combat 3. If you fail, deal one direct damage to your investigator and each ally asset you control. If you control radiation tablets, you will succeed at this test. Well, well, um, I think I'm just tes uh, testing 3 versus 3. No good icons to commit here. 3 versus 3, and I'll test agility, why not? Minus one, we fail, and we take one direct damage. So, already taken three damage, so this is not faring that well, I think. So, first action, we really don't need to get this clue yet. So we can just move into the... Well, I think I'm trying to get this clue first. So, uh, we get a three versus two test here. Minus four. We'll try again. 3 versus 2. It is a skull. Skull is X is the number of AI and counter cards in your threat area. It is 0. So we get this clue. Last action. Uh, we'll move to engine room. So, force route 1 clue. At the end of your turn, if you are at the engine room and do not control radiation tablets, take 1 damage. So, we really would have needed the radiation tablets. 
but we get to advance so we spend two clues advance system online uh, as the nuclear ion uh, engines begin their reboot sequence the emergency lights shut off and leave you in darkness you see glimpses of an image of a memory. A great golden palace stands before you, older than the time itself. A throne bait fit for a queen re reigning over an infinite void of a sunless space. When the main fluorescent lights return, an ear piercing scream resonates out of the intercom system. It is the sound of a several children's robotized voices crying out in unison. Intruders detected. Go away. Please leave us alone. Shuffle to set aside artificial intelligence encounter, set into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard file. This set is indicated by the following icon. Advance to Agenda 2A and Act 2A. Do not remove Doom from play and transfer all Doom from Agenda 1A to Agenda 2A. Okay, so we have the artificial insanity. Restoring power to the Tatterdomalian systems activated a new problem. The ship's main malfunctioning AI is now operational and trying to terminate you. You must find a way to fix it or shut it down before it ex expels you from the ship. Objective: Figure out how to repair the disabled or disable the insane cybernetic AI. You will be instructed to vent advance. Then we advance past this, but we don't remove any doom. So, the ghost ship. The computerized voices sob and sing snippets of nursery rhymes. The ship's li lights uh, flicker along and the automated hatches snap open and close. The Tatterdomalian has some min mind of its own. Action. If there are no clues on your current location, scan. Search for the topmost card in the scanning deck. If uh, with an icon matching your current location, draw it. Shuffle the scanning deck. So, now we have a scanning action on... The agenda so we can start scanning places and that is the end of my turn so we take one damage because we don't have uh, the radiation tablet so no enemies will go to upkeep before that we will do this so we have this artificial AI I'm just checking so this is a really uh, thick set of cards so we shuffle this really Thin encounter card with the uh, artificial intelligence set to form a normal sized encounter deck, I, I suppose. So, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Okay, and uh, no enemies will go to upkeep, so we'll draw a card. We get steadfast, we get the source. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom and count the card to this round is... Well, it's the system bug. Spawn near a location with no clues. Although we did the cargo hold. Post after system bug and display, place one clue on its location. Okay, well... First action... We will... Draw onto the plane here. I'll draw an encounter card. It is uh, anachronism, so test willpower 3 for each point you help either discard a non story asset you control or take one more. Uh, I'm just committing this to the test, so uh, it gives me. I still have 10, so uh, we'll get plus 3 willpower from this, so we are 6 versus 3. Minus two, we pass. We'll get uh, this clue from here. Uh, we'll do the scanning here. <coughs> and uh, uh, we are scanning the X. So we'll discard cards and we hit an X. So now the wrong kind of X. Uh, this is the correct one. Uh, mind machine interface. So revelation, you may put this card into play underneath under the control of any investigator. Action. Spend two clues as a group. Scan. Search for the topmost card in the scanning deck. With the icon below and draw it. Shuffle the encounter deck. 
Okay, well, uh, I'll take the mind machine interface. So after a successful scan, we can uh, we have to shuffle uh, all the scanning cars back. So we'll do that now. And we don't really want to stay here. We'll just, as a last action, move here. This engages me. We'll go to the enemy phase. Uh, this uh, attacks me, but I will dodge it. So we'll put the dodge underneath here. And that is everything. We'll go to upkeep. We draw one, two, three. So we get the two Amori and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom and counter card for this round is Coolant Leaked. Uh, test Agility 4. For each point you fail by, either choose and discard a card from your hand or take one damage. If you control the EVA suit, uh, this automatically succeeds. Well, uh, fortunately, I don't have anything to commit to this. So we are testing. Uh, Four versus uh, three versus four. It is a cultist, so it's much to if you pay pay more than fifty boost onto your current location. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, well, we're not scanning here, I think. So we fail by so much that we have to discard all, our whole hand. That is not good. And uh, it's card you don't discard, you have to. So we have to ta also take one damage. So uh, we are not doing great. This might be a short campaign after all, if we can't figure this out. Okay, we have to get rid of that, but... Mm, first off, we will evade. Oh yeah, after you enter the cargo hold, I have to do the willpower test again. So we didn't have this in place. So we have two, uh, three versus two. So I just test uh, retrospectively. So I didn't take a horror when I entered here. So now we are evading uh, three versus two. We fail. We try again. Plus one, we evade. We'll try to get rid of this by evading again. Three versus two. Uh, it is a skull. So skull is this is an AI card, yeah. So, but in your threat area. So this isn't in my threat area. So we get rid of this. So that's good. So next round we have to kill this. So we'll go to upkeep. We draw Defiance and we gain Resource. This uh, re-engages us, so we have to kill it next round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we add a Doom. Six of seven. Encounter card is... Hallucinatory Hologram. Hidden Peril. Security that is to your hand forced. At the end of the, your turn, if there is at least one AI encounter card in your threat area, take two Horror and discard Hallucinatory. Holograms. Double action, discard this. Okay. Well, uh, I'll just start fighting this guy. So we are fighting four versus... Okay, so we are fighting... We are fighting three versus three. I'll commit this and say that uh, we ignore cultists. Four versus three. Zero. He hits. This goes underneath Diana. This takes one damage. We'll attack again. Three uh, versus three. So, not good odds, but it is what it is. Uh, zero. So, this is defeated. Okay. Well, at least something. Last action. <coughs> 
we will go over here and next round we will scan here or yeah i think we have to do that okay well no enemies will go to upkeep we draw tetsuomori and again we saw the next round we hopefully can play tetsuo so that is that round let's go to the next round we are a doom so the agenda advances So we get the uh, Apple A21 Demhe <laughs> by fight, uh, uh, three health and two evade. Spawn cargo hold hunter while moving or engaging up Apple A21 Demhe. I'll just call it Demhe from now on. Ignoring investigator with an AI encounter card in their threat area. Target acquired. So this engages us. Well, that's fun. Rise of the machines. The ship's AI is reaching out to every machine to manipulate to control. Hopelessly lost in its own insanity, it will stop at nothing to exterminate the intruders that are invading its home. Action. If there are no clues on your current location, scan. Search the topmost card in the scanning deck. With an icon matching your current location, draw it. Shuffle the scanning deck. Okay. Well. I think we need to evade this guy, so I'll do that. Three versus two. And Tetsuo doesn't have anything that helps. Three versus two. Okay, plus one, so this guy is evaded. No. Oh yeah, I forgot we moved there, so this spawns here, so back up. I was thinking we were still in the cargo hold. Okay, so first action, we'll play Tetsu. Second action, we'll scan. So we are scanning the circle. So uh, we are trying to get to the ship's bridge, but uh, we can't move there. So we scan for the yellow circle. Uh, we got the uh, LR02 Holly. So uh, 3 fight, 2 health, and 4 evade. Aloof, retaliate force. After you defeat this enemy, scan. Search the topmost card in the scanning deck with the icon below and draw it. Shuffle the scanning deck. And we can scan this symbol. So. I think we. Yeah, let's, uh, damn, that, uh, damn he will just come and rip us in parts if we stay here. So I think we'll move to the infirmary. Next round we'll do this. Okay. So we'll just leave this, uh, hanging over here and we'll move to the infirmary. Three shot, uh, one clues. Action scan loop top for top medical supplies. Search the topmost card in the scanning deck with the icon below and draw it. Shuffle the scanning deck. Okay, so uh, we are probably not doing that. This uh, enemy, I'll just mark this. I'll put it here and actually mark these enemies. So this enemy is here. This enemy is also here. But this is aloof, so we don't have to mind that. And... Uh, yeah. That is that. So we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card. Holy Rose are useless. And we get the source. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. A one of nine encounter card for this round is electric search test agility to this test gets plus one difficulty for each ai encounter card in your threat area if you fail it's investigate location takes one damage and electric guard search gains search 
I am testing this uh, driver to zero with pass. Okay, um, I'll do the scanning here with the mind machine interface. So spend two clues as a group, scan for the topmost card in the scanning deck with the icon below and draw it, shuffle the scanning deck. So this is it. Cyber virus, well god damn it. Not looking good. We'll have to deal with that. So secretly add this card into your hand. After you discover the last clue from a location, spawn cyber virus engage with you. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Well, isn't this a problem? I don't know how to do this. <laughs> uh, I think I need to go back to the mess hall and just forget about this one. Yeah. So I'll. Yeah, I might die here, but I'll go to the mess hall. In, uh, this enemy engages me. I'll evade. Nothing to commit. Evading um, three versus two minus one. So <clears throat> at least this is evaded. I'll just put it like this. So uh, nothing else happens. Well, um, after, yeah, we go to upkeep. We draw, read the signs, and again a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh yeah, this ready is re-engages us. So let's go to the next round. We add another doom. And count the card is another hallucinatory holograms. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, at the end of the turn we didn't have any. So now we have two of these. So we're taking a bunch of horror. Okay. First action. We will evade this guy. Three versus two. Plus one. It is evaded. Okay, so I'm putting this and it is evaded. Uh, we'll engage this one and we'll move over here. So it hits us for one damage and one horror when we move. Then it will hit us for one damage and one horror again. So Tetsuya Mori is defeated. And search the top nine cards for an item as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Item charm. Yeah, we'll pick the talisman of protection. We need to defeat this guy next round. Okay. Yeah, we upkeep, we draw machete and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. And this guy actually ready last round, so we uh, get the doom and count the card is uh, perditive algorithm revelation put perditive algorithm into play in your threat area you get minus one to each of your skills while fighting or evading AI enemies so, god damn it choose and discard two cards from your hand discard perditive algorithm well we are not getting any breaks here uh, oh yeah and this blew up so we take four for uh, last round. Okay, well, that sucked.
Okay, well, let's try to fight this guy. So we are fighting two versus... Three. And it is a plus one, so one damage. And I think I need to commit for the second one uh, the machete. And it is a the same plus one. So we defeat this guy. So we get the victory one. We get to scan and uh, search for that icon. So it is this one. Oh, I think we're dead. Yeah, this is not going well. Okay, so... Uh, you finally uncover the direct access point to interface with the th third Damalian's main computer, K2 PS187. However, you quickly realize that disabling or rewriting it would not be as simple as you anticipated. K2 PS187 is not a true computer at all, and it is actually a cybernetic organism. Deep within the mechanics of the ship's bridge is the computer core, and we did it are the disembodied brains of six young children. These brains are linked together to form a very powerful supercomputer. The situation sickens you to the core. Who would you do? Uh, who would do such a thing, damning these minds to an eternity of calculating uh, ships' trajectories and processing algorithms? You feel quickly uh, uh, guilty, knowing that you must have been a uh, part of this heinous crew. Each investigator adds one telemark next to their memories, regardless of their location. Advance to Act 2B. Add this card to the victory display. So we get to advance at least. <coughs> the Realm of Dreams. Uh, it would be impossible to physically bypass the or rewrite K2 PS187. However, there is another way to repair the computer. If you can reprogram the cryoslip chambers, uh, dream protocols to interface with K2 PS187, you will essentially create a pocket reality in which you can virtually interact with K2 PS187 within its dreams. From there, you'll be able to bring the four minds back to their senses. Uh, however, without proper physiological conditioning, entering the virtual reality may be a damn to your identity, leaving you in a state of dig coherence. Uh, although some of your procedural memories have returned, your self-identity is still out of tune. You may want to explore the ship and remember who you used to be. Put the set aside virtual access key asset into play under the investi uh, any investigator's control. That investigator may choose to add it into their deck. This card doesn't count towards the investigator's deck limit. Uh, reconnect. Uh, you must find a way to reprogram the cryosleep chambers to access K2PS187's virtual dreamscape and calm it down. Objective after an investigator at the cryosleep uh, quarters performs a scan uh, matching the icon below, regardless of whether it is successful or not, you may advance. Okay. Hmm. So I get this, so it bumps this out. So virtual access key. When you would take horror, exhaust virtual access key, ca cancel one of that horror. So now I need to do a scanning. So I'll just do... Okay, I'll uh, to survive I have to play Talisman of Protection. This enemy moves here, engages, hits for 3 damage. I will uh, discard Talisman of Protection. Oh yeah, this is a fast. Okay, never mind. We will investigate before this guy moves up here. And I'm investigating C uh, read the Sar... Oh no. Uh, damn. 
So this engages me if I, but it it deals four. So I will die. I have four, five, six. Uh, I'll barely. So, oh yeah, I I can survive the cyber virus, but I need to do this. So uh, yeah, we are investigating. It is a zero. Uh, we'll grab this last clue. And this goes underneath here. Yeah, we have a bunch of willpower here, but it doesn't help us at this moment. Uh, this comes into my threat area, engages me. Oh yeah, this is in my threat area. Okay, so this is engaged with me. And the other one died. Okay, now this guy moves here. He gets at me, hits me. And the talisman of protection goes away. Cancel up to two of the damage and horror. Well, I'll cancel two. This goes underneath here. I am, I think, max out. I'll still take one. This guy hits me for two horror. I'll cancel one of those with this. Okay, uh, we're ready up. We draw a card. Emergency gas, we can resource. We're so dead. Okay, well, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, uh, we add a doom and we get an encounter card. It is anti artificial gravity malfunction. And that is card to your current location. When you are at the attached location, each move action. And ability cost one additional action. Okay, well, that sucks. Yeah, I, I think we're dead. So, nothing we can do. If we do this, we have the clues for it, we will die. If we move, those both hit me, we'll die. If we evade one, then we don't have enough to move. Yeah, this, this is the end, so might as well evade the uh, big guy. So we're evading two versus two because we have minus one evade. Uh, skull is uh, a card, so I'm failing that. Evading again. And we fail, and place one of the clues on it. Okay, so that seems a deal. Uh, oh, yeah, we don't even have. Uh, okay. Yeah, we are just evading last time. Two versus two. Oh, the fail. Well, that seals the deal. So, this guy hits me, this guy hits me. Um, I'll take the horror first and die to horror. I won't uh, cancel. I'd, I'd rather have a uh, one mental trauma than anything else. So we'll see how this uh, <laughs> ends. So if no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned or was defeated. Once again you are stall startled awake, this time by the small cold hands of y a young girl. It worked, you're here, please follow me quickly. You are surprised to find yourself standing in a field of grass. The sky is black and the seething and seething. 
The sun, unable to penetrate the dark, rolling storm clouds. You are no longer on the Tatra Domalium, but you don't recognize this place either. Metallic cylinders with red pulsating lights stand tall in the distance, looming above a small town. Behind you is a large obsidian door. You will ask the little girl about your whereabouts. You are in a simulated dream, in fact. You are in my dream. Now follow me quickly before the monster eats my friends. In your camp log, record that you were transported to the virtual dreamlands of Maya. In, if an investigator was defeated or resigned with the cyber wires in their hand, that investigator must record in the camp log that they have been infected by the cyber wires. Well, at least we didn't have the cyber wires in our hand, so we don't rec record that. Okay, so if it, at least one copy of the reminiscence treacheries in the Victor display it, uh, at one uh, there is none uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the Victor X value of each card in the Victor display so we only got two experience out of this but I think that's better than nothing and we will continue to the next scenario next time so um, this didn't go perfectly but um, it is what it is um, I got really unlucky with my a build up for fighting so that that's that and uh, well hoping to do better next time but that is the first scenario of the dark matter campaign the tattered demalion done we uh, failed forward and hopefully we can do better in the next scenario but that is that uh, game uh, hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time